Buenos dias, amigo. Hi, bien, bien. Good morning, Charlie. Buenos dias. Oh, you're such a cute little puppy. Breakfast looks great this morning. We're sharing one last meal with our friends Artemio, Ana, y Rosa. Rosa, yeah. Vete, Rosa, vete, porque sale al mundo. At the Dos Pinos Mercado. Hey. An amazing place, great food, hey. and great friends. Dos. Great friends. Uh, Wi Fi, so Wi -Fi. you can check your email, drinking water, ice, perfect little mercado. We've had an amazing time uh, sharing a halibut cheeks and uh, caribou tenderloin salmon. and uh, some copper river salmon that we caught last year yellowtail the cashew yes and they shared yellowtail and the best ceviche yeah, i have sea ever bass. had out of white sea bass and make something it something new make it rosa yes rosa's ceviche it's very good right? it's primero the best time and i also learned that you can put a little bit of mayonnaise on the ceviche and makes it extra special. Ah, yeah, special yes. in the press today. Yes. Yeah. Sadly, it's time for us to uh, hit the road and start heading north. Charlie likes playing with Shelby's leash. Bye-bye. Adios, Melanie. Adios, Ana. Adios. Gracias. Adios, amigo. Buenas Muchas noche. gracias. See you later. We have had a grand time here. We feel like we just really found a jewel in Bahia de Los Angeles as a town and also our new friends. Uh, really, you must come here. It's peaceful. You get off the grid. You're not uh, busy doing all the usual things you are, like staring at your phone all day. And the beauty here is incredible. We didn't get to do it because it's the wrong time of year, but in the summertime and up into the fall, the whale sharks are also here, which we absolutely want to come back and do. You just never know where you're going to find these little gems, and we're so grateful to have found this place, and we were going to stay one night, then we were going to stay two nights, then we stayed three nights, and the only reason we're leaving is because we have to drive back and get back to the point where we have some internet pretty soon. So, all good things must come to an end. I think Ben and I both agree that we love coming south of the border because we enjoy the culture of Mexico so much. You know, it's a little bit more laid back than home. And I don't think that this is limited just to the Mexican culture, but we so enjoy immersing ourselves in other cultures and seeing how other people live and experiencing the hospitality we we always find that people are gracious when you come and visit their home and their community you know we've experienced that all over the world and it's wonderful that this particular culture is within driving distance of most of us and it really gives you a sense of appreciation for valuing other cultures and and uh, what you can learn from them. We get so busy rushing around at home and you come to a place like this and you take a, a deep breath and remember to enjoy life. And that's what it's all about. Alright guys, we are driving through Catavina now. This is a beautiful area with all the cactus growing out of the rocks and the ones that look like upside down carrots. I don't remember the name of them, but they only grow here on the Baja. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm not sure how far we're going to make it today. It's 11.15, but I am already exhausted from these roads. Um, a class A motorhome can do it, but it is not the uh, best vehicle for cruising around Baja. Let's just say that much. Uh, 
you pucker up and clinch up every time you're uh, coming at one of these semis. Lo and behold, the, the worst potholes are gonna be right when that uh, semi is coming at you. It's, it's intense and I love it, but it's also one of the more intense driving areas that we've experienced. Do you wanna drive today, honey? No, thank you. And that's what I'm dealing with. But this area is gorgeous, guys. Uh, we're just gonna take it as it goes. Uh, my instincts tell me, let's just go to Ensenada and uh, get this rough stretch behind us and be done with it. It's stressful, but I might wanna stop in San Quentin or maybe Vicente Guerrero. I'm not sure yet, but that's the best part about traveling is just taking it as it goes. starting to pick up like a uh, really cool ocean breeze so I have a feeling we're gonna be getting near the Pacific awfully soon this stretch up here through the mountains it's almost similar to top of the world highway because you're on this big rolling mountain range and just kind of cruising along the mountaintops you know the roads are not too bad here I probably shouldn't say that because that means they'll go to shit right around the corner uh, one benefit to only going 40 to 50 miles an hour is I'm getting epic fuel economy on this thing. Oh, there's a class A coming. Like we're at 287 miles. See how tight this is guys? Not much room for error, especially when there's a trucker coming at you and their uh, tires are over the uh, yellow line. But yeah, 287 miles and we're just a little under two thirds of a tank. Not bad at all. guys we have made it to San Quentin we're topping off with a little bit of fuel uh, the decision has been made to head into Ensenada just so we can kind of lay up there before the border and just relax for a couple days there's a uh, very nice resort apparently up there and I think we'll pay like 10 15 dollars more a night but we'll have like a hot tub and some other amenities but this is kind of my old stomping grounds here a lot of my wild mexico stories from 20 years ago kind of uh were in this area with my buddy doug if you've been watching our videos you'll know, know some of those stories but yeah we're just plucking along and enjoying the ride and i'm pretty much ready to get off the road i think we have about another couple hours or so i'll tell you this area really has changed you know all those uh, fancy berries that you see in the store by Driscoll's that are organic and non-organic, but all the fancy like uh, designer berries, they grow them here. And uh, we totally just passed by somebody uh, selling beautiful strawberries on the side of the road, but there's no way we could stop in time. Does that ever happen to you guys? Like you're just driving along and it's like, oh, 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 damn it, I missed it. So we also figured out what was happening with the internet. Uh, once we got into this area, yeah, it's populated. And uh, we had blazing LTE service. So like, hey, let's upload a video. And once, it's a big one. You know, it was a long drive. It's the one from uh, San Felipe to Guerrero Negro. But once it got up to one gig, it throttled it. So we totally, we were curious, like, what's going on? Why is it dying? But now we put two and two together that our uh, service got throttled pretty much at about a gig. 
things are also getting a little bit more interesting because the place that we wanted to stay at in Ensenada was supposed to be 35 a night and we just called them in 60 bucks a night. No, too much. Mexico, way, way too much. This road surface between uh, San Quentin and Ensenada has changed a lot. I've actually uh, been able to see the old road and uh, you got the new road and it's very refreshing, uh, especially after what we've been driving on for the past week. you guys but I always just get sensory overload after being in a rural remote area and then coming back into the cities yeah if you know me enough uh, you probably know that I'm not a city person but just all the traffic and it's just overwhelming so we're gonna head right so we're gonna pass through Ensenada and head on up the coast a little bit more and see what we can find up there. I'm really starting to think that coming this far north was a mistake. Uh, just for your records, it's Friday. We're in rush hour. But I feel that we might have just made a tremendous mistake by cutting our uh, kind of rural Mexican experience short. But that's part of traveling and uh, life on the road is sometimes you just gotta shoot from the hip and uh, sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. But whatever happens, you just, oh, that's a big one. Uh, you just have to make the best of it and roll with the punches. We're at Baja Seasons. It's a 34 night for an interior site or 40 for a waterfront. Beautiful RV park. They're supposed to have a restaurant, but it's not open right now. It's 7.20. We haven't eaten anything at all. We would just stay here and go grab something, but they don't allow razors. And I say razors because everybody thinks these ATVs are called razors, even though they make all different brands. But uh, no, no razors allowed. And it's literally right off of the uh, one and there is no way I can take the uh, ATV on the one. So we would literally be trapped here with nothing to do aside from just stay in the campground, which is really not our thing because we want to get out and enjoy like stuff, not just stay in an RV park. Alrighty guys, thanks for joining us today. It's been a really long drive. Uh, we're feeling a little regretful about coming this far north so quickly. Um, but we're just going to have dinner. Ben has made some spaghetti for us. And on the upside, we have a front, beachfront spot. And we can hear the wee waves rolling in. And I'm hoping those negative ions are going to make us feel better. <laughs> Uh, there is a hot tub. I went and checked it out. It is warm and it is right on the beach and it has this lovely little area around it with lights and place comfortable places to sit. So we will have to deal with a little hookup because um, they don't take cards here and we're uh, it's expensive and we're a little low on actual cash because we've been in Bahia for several days where there were no ATMs either and they only took cash um, so we're gonna have to figure that out we may move to a different place tomorrow I don't know we're gonna eat we're gonna get some rest I don't know about Ben but I'm gonna go sit in the hot tub and we're gonna regroup in the morning but uh, it's been a real long day so Thanks for hanging in there with us, and hopefully tomorrow we're going to 
see the bright side here. Be sure to subscribe and follow our adventures. Have a great night.